Shalom and welcome to a special edition of the Jerusalem Post News. Today we have with us the manager of the USA's branches of Bank Kapolim, Gabriel Hamani. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Tamar. Okay, so let's start with um, the ties between US and Israel. They're obviously very close in matters of security, diplomacy. Are they also so close in matters of the economy, finance? Absolutely. You know, it's very natural for us Israelis and I, I presume also Americans uh, to feel comfortable in, in each other's backyard, so to speak. You know, uh, there's a lot of sim similarities in terms of principles of how business is run in the U.S. and Israel, and we both feel comfortable. Uh, of course, Israelis, uh, Israeli uh, companies cannot ignore the biggest consumer market in the world, and they find themselves eventually ending up when they grow and develop in the U.S. market, and vice versa, the U.S. Uh, uh, you know, players appreciate the innovation and entrepreneurship of the Israeli companies. So it's very tight as well. Okay. Um, America obviously has a very large and developed banking system. What does Bank Kapolim specifically contribute to this? You know, what, what many people do not uh, realize is even though they have 6,500 6, banks today in the U.S., most of them, I would say the majority of them, are very small community local banks. And Bank Kapolim, the leading bank in Israel, uh, and us in the U.S. as part of the bank, are basically bringing the balance sheet of $100 billion to that market, and we are uh, you know, very much equipped to, to uh, you know, uh, give a complete solution for companies in the U.S. in terms of our products and services, and basically match whatever you can expect from a U.S. bank at that scale. So uh, we are very much uh, alike in terms of our products and, and, and services, as, as I said. And I think the main point that we bring to the table, which is a bit lacking in the U.S. market today, is the relationship. That's, that has been the culture of the bank in Israel for many, many years. It is today as well. And I think this is the most added value that we can bring to the, to the customer, which is basically a company in the U.S., in terms of being able to know them very intimately, understand their business. And I think we have a lot of essence behind the statement that we are a relationship bank. What special services do you offer your customers? Well, you know, the, the, as I said, the, the shelf of products is very wide and deep, so you would find uh, us to be at par in, in what you would expect from any commercial lender in the U.S. But as I said, more than that, with the fact that we are a very comprehensive uh, uh, you know, solution provider, from soup to nuts, so to speak, from very, er, very early stages of a company to a very mature company, you can talk about financing solution, you can talk about investment uh, services, you can talk about trading room, global trading room uh, uh, solutions, uh, and, and, and so on and so forth. So it's really the comprehensiveness of the, I would say, a financial solution that we provide there, coupled with the understanding close relationship with our customers. Israel is often described as the startup nation. Um, is there anything specific that Bank of Holim does that's geared towards Israel's high-tech industry? Well, definitely as the leading bank in Israel, and Israel, as you stated, is the start of nation, we cannot be not a part of that. And we see ourselves strategically as a partner to that industry, to that segment. Uh, to that end, we uh, have a, a designated, I would say, division basically today in the bank that is uh, answering the needs of that industry worldwide. So it does start in Israel, and you can look at us in the U.S. as the extension of that activity, and we provide whatever those entities need uh, in the U.S. as a continu continuation of their service uh, in Israel, at the bank in Israel. Uh, but more than that, as I said, uh, you know, that spirit of entrepreneurship does reside at the bank in Israel and in the U.S. as well. And the solutions, what we call outside of the box solutions, are very common practice uh, with us. Uh, you know, uh, as you said, it's a big uh, you know, market there, a lot of banks, but some of them are very much into the box, into the formula, and we are beyond the box. We are beyond the formula. Especially one, one specific area that I want to mention is, you know, uh, high tech companies are very well known to be high growth companies when sometimes the capital of the company or profitability or cash flow, flow is not there to support that high growth. This is where we come in with special financing solutions in Israel and the U.S. as well. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank Mr. you for having me. Thank you for tuning in to the special edition of the Jerusalem Post News. We'll be back tomorrow.